All right, guys. Welcome in. What's up, Walder, Boingo, Jordan, Iron? We have exclusive access and exclusive Dr. Pepper to um, Wundanik Chapter 3. Yo, what's good, MXR? Xbox, yeah, exactly. So this will be my first time. I I always launch up just to make sure the thing works before I uh, play it, but this is basically my first time running it. So let us see. So I, I noticed right off the bat, it has a default profile and an ultra profile. So I'm gonna try the uh, ultra profile first and see what, what it's like visually. Gameplay-wise, is that performance mode? That's what I'm saying. I think the default profile is the more performance version. But we're going to play on Ultra. You're working on your own mod. That's hell yeah. What's it going to be called? Is it going to be a webjack? What, what type of uh, style are you going for? I gotta say, I'm jealous as hell of uh, Wundanik's um, loading screen. It's really good. Experience. Hey, Thierry. How are you? There we go. Who's that? What was that notification? like the YouTube notifications turning on. Okay. Apparently Botrix. I'm just gonna turn off Botrix. Botrix is freaking out. Damn, I I'm uh I ate well, holy shit. I think it's from Obody. I Skyrim beats is something I never knew I needed in my life until I started watching streams. Hell yeah, I'm the pioneer. Damn, we thick. Yeah, yeah. Have some Akabir races. Have you heard of the Deep Elves? That's terrifying. What is that? Oh, I think we're playing as a as a Dunmer. I think we're playing as a Dunmer. <laughs> Man. 
maybe I shouldn't uh, be uh, clipping. Hey, the the dwarven uh, email looks pretty normal. Sets here. I like those default ones. Let me see if there's presets here. Norse god side shaved hairstyle. U Z. That ain't a Dunmer. This ain't Dunmer. What the heck? This one. Oh god, what the what am I doing? I'm trying to like see what people are saying while uh messing we'll we'll with this. Okay, we're gonna just keep it simple. Hey Silver, quick question, are Lorem's mods visible? I mean visible. Can you edit a preset? Yeah, but I, I didn't like the, the presets, so I'm just gonna do my own. I'm a, I'm a simple guy, just throw on some war paint and Oh, the war paint does makeup, though. Alright, that's the look. That's the look. Oh, the scars are actually pretty sick, too. Got these scars. I'm just gonna go with this. I think I'm okay with this. Why do you keep- okay, I already answered your question. Yes, you can edit presets. What do you mean? You, you can load presets and then edit them. It will be like Nolvis. What do you mean like Nolvis? A lot of visual nitpicks. Mine already... Booba clipping. Base parts of the beard. Well, booba clipping is one thing. It might just be from the... It doesn't seem to be clipping when I'm actually not in race menu. The beard thing though, you can literally, that's like the easiest fix. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of true HUD scaling. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Uh? I'll be a refugee in Windhelm. May you find a new and better life in Skyrim, my child. Thank you. Masochist to make that the hockey. Is there no dodge? 
dodge mod in there? Oh, what the heck? Dodge mod is a side button? Does this use dodge MCO? It's probably TK dodge, isn't it? Interesting. Okay. Oh, let me change that real quick. Wait, it is Dodge MCO. Wait, but I didn't see an MCM for it. Am I blind? I'm so used to sprint being alt, but I have big hands. I should do shift, I don't know. I have really webbed fingers, so I gotta keep everything like close to my WASD. What do you think of the Elysium list? I don't know. It just—it's just been kind of there for a couple of years. It hasn't really gotten any substantial updates, so it's kind of weird playing it 2024 because there's like a lot of—it's—it's it's one of those lists that I don't know. See, I, I'm of the mindset that uh, like I—I I prefer stuff that gets regularly updated well at least like with some of the you know the must have mods no idea how y'all play this on keyboard i don't know how people play it on the controller be nice with an update yeah it also runs Pretty rough. The basketball triple dodge. Yeah. I'm... A lot of people like dodge MCO. I don't. You know, the biggest reason I don't like it is because it's not compatible in first person, as far as I know. I don't like poor gameplay stuff being limited to third person. You've never heard of Windedik? It's surprising. I feel like it's a little bit... Oh my god, there it is. There's like over 60 mod lists. Hey, I started with a storage sack. I have my own little cot. Come on in. Let me know if we need it. Yo, the refugee life. have first person you know what that means immersive <laughs> Ellie versus the enemies 
I think people have way too much nostalgia glasses for LE and Bs. They don't look that great. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. If you're interested in making some coin, I may have something for you. My employer owns the Pit Fighters here in Windhelm. They pay good money for competing in the pits. Jiggle seems to be working now that the arena is closed. <laughs> Breathe and run fast. They used to be known as the Paladins. Breast and Windhelm's run fast. old arena team. They the entrance is near Sadri's used wares. I need my uh, need subtitles. Welcome, sister. Please enjoy yourself. Of course. Oh, let's get some bounties. How can I argue with that? Okay. If you need another drink, I'll yes, be right sir. here. Maybe you can help me. Of course. Wait, no, I don't want to help. Yeah, I'm going to turn off side quests. Safe yes, travel. sir. I don't, I don't like the... I don't like... Uh, Accidentally clicking my way into a uh, generic quests. No, but your guys' take on the side quest mod, I've never been a fan. It's like missives, but worse. A nice atmosphere by LE and Bs. You know what I think that's a result of? I think it's because LE itself looks better than Sky, uh, Skyrim Special Edition. Not, uh, and I mean, based on the, the tint of the game. Because I mean, like, have you seen like, Skyrim LE versus SE photos? Like, I, I, okay, this might not. Like, why, in my opinion, the Skyrim Special Edition looks worse. Just the vanilla game looks worse. But then people be like, actually, actually the clutter, there's more clutter, there's more rocks. I don't know, the, the Skyrim Special Edition just kind of looks more bleached out. I don't, I don't see the, I don't know why they changed like the LUTs and stuff. Like, I don't know. I just prefer the original look. And I, th I think that's why. Special edition is just like more foggy. More like foggy and yellow. Whereas the original is more like clear and blue. And looks colder. You're a war hero, Brunwolf. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll Damn. speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. Oof. Vivid snow, though. Hi, lady. Would you like to buy some flowers? This, um... Conversation camera, too. There is, uh... I'm gonna turn... Turn off the letterbox. Gonna turn off force. Uh, I'm gonna turn off switch target. Uh, restart for lock on feature to work. Oh, I can just disable it completely by uh, thinking about this. Please, won't you buy a flower? There, I'm all alone. Really? Do you... 
Do you have a place I could live? No. Oh, well. Thanks anyway, I suppose. Get the hell out of here. Really? I just, I just crushed her hopes and dreams. Huh? Looking for shipping? We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. All right then. All right, let's get into some some action. <sighs> Whoever did her eyebrows needs to be fired and imprisoned. <laughs> Iggy Boss, I only know large manager. Using Capital One Helm now. Oh, oh, I don't think almost any list uses Capital One Helm. I know Lorem does, and but I don't know like of any others that do. Probably because it's a pain to patch. Don't cross me, Elf. Stay out of trouble, Elf. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part. Pretty good man. It is. I, I like Capital Winhelm, but Winhelm is pretty scuffed. But yeah, it's it's so it's such a nightmare to patch. Though let me just tell you. Oh, I start with a rapier. Okay. Okay. Be careful. I'm gonna go poke some stuff to death. Like any oh god, that is a lot of things. Repair automaton, slide tackle, store stuff, flames. Okay. Healing. All right. Uh, build campfire. Okay, so it does those of the campfire mod. Rebreathe. That's after you've breathed and run ran fast. Take a peek. I do need to wash myself. I am very dirty. Windhelm guard reported you for indecent exposure? Bro. I'm just washing myself as God intended. I haven't heard from the author in a minute. I said I heard he was making a rift extension. Yeah, I think he quit. I literally got reported by the guard. That's must wait, do I have a bounty? 20 gold bounty for washing yourself in the river. That is, uh, that is not okay. I know, I know it was because I was a Dunmer. If, if I was a, uh, if I was a uh, Nord, they wouldn't have that issue. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, look at look at that Nord." Oh my God, look at that Nord. All right, I'm gonna kill some bandits. The traitor's post. The guard kept referring to you as Elf. Yeah, I know. Oh, can I even spell for it? I just realized I might not be able to... Because block is this. How do I... I don't think I can. Wait. Bro, put that frickin'... 
that shit away. I'll show you a real fight. Burn, baby, burn. God, that's loud. Hey, put your shit away. Time to end this little game. It does look really good. This is the fight of all time. Meanwhile, they're still shooting arrows at me. I'll show you what a real orc can do. How do I power tech? Is there one click power tech or something? Uh, not one click. Uh, does he use Hellblade power attack? Uh, I don't know what the power attack mod is, to be honest. Dual wield parry. B. Okay. It's actually good to know. Very nice. You can't win this. Do I have anything else that I can use against this guy, Cabbage? Classic Skyrim combat. I fought worse than you. God. I'm going to put you down. What is that? Oh my god, I hate those things. I hate those things. Okay, literally, people need to stop putting Mihail's stupid ass Draugr fucking horseman in their mod list. Holy shit. Those are the most unbalanced things ever. That's the most unbalanced creature ever ever made in a mod list or in a like like oh i can't tell you how much i hate that mod i was just about to win i was just about to win it's always though and they're in every dungeon All my homies hate drug riders. They suck. They're so... They're so unbalanced. I... He, he like... I got tag teamed. It was bad enough that I was getting shot by arrows the entire time. <laughs> they really said I'm about to ruin this dude's stream. They're so... Dog water. I like a lot of Mihail's stuff, but that mod ain't it. It's so badly designed and balanced. God. And they're just spammed outside of every single dungeon that has Draugr. I'm gonna go fight a goat. There we go. I got a kill, GG. Is that most of me house monsters? Nah, some of them are pretty balanced. They're just kind of they're kind of a hit or a miss. Unarmored defense. I mean, I might as well grab this. Magicka regions faster. That should help a lot. 
Path of the Priest, Path of the Thief, Path of the Mage. Path of the Warrior. Crazy. Kamora Tong Thug? Hey, I want your armor. It'll be so much easier to rob when you're down. Who's leveled up with that? Step off. All right, here we go. Here we go. One-handed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Destruction can't raise it. Very cool. Uh, I can't raise anything. All right, let me let me be smart about this. Damn. You're a fool to fight. Oh, what the heck is an invisible person? Won't get away with that. Oh God! So I can stab you in the back. Belly like an old woman. God. I can't win. I have too many vegetables. Come on. You are the first, and you won't be the last. I need his armor. Uh, <laughs> what is that? What kind of uh, to count out your coin. Where did he go? I'm, I'm being sabotaged from every step I take. Yo, he had a lot of stuff. More unarmed damage. Reverse. Yeah. Ow. I'm gonna get stagger locked from that frickin' Oh my get up! Get up! What's the I know. Really? When they guys a crap ton of custom skull trees. Good bit. Westeros project? I'm not sure what that is. What's up, Vic Randy? Oh. Every time I got hit by that crossy, I was staggered. Couldn't do anything. Time to end this little game. Child. Yeah, the, the dog. Allowed me to. I can raise this check. Okay. I'll do this. So I can take your stuff. I just. I don't know how to power attack. I have no idea how to power attack. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. You hear strange whispers. Okay. I'm gonna bait them one at a time. I ain't about this dying life. I'll show you what a real orc can do. I hate how in like vanilla and pretty much any non-rec room list, they just have infinite ammo. They're just gonna be sitting there spamming crap at you. They just gotta take it. All the rocks are mirrors. Okay. I'll show you a real fight. 
If I can kill this guy. Come on! Get up, 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 get up. What is that sound? <laughs> Our Lexus shoes with the rocks. Yeah. I think it's, uh... I think it's actually the snow shader. I'll show you what a real. I think the sno the snow shader. I don't know if this is using like better dynamic snow or something. If it's using better dynamic snow three, then that might be the reason because that's not compatible with Parallax. They're dancing at me. Look at their they're fucking. Uh. I never get tired of hitting. Ah! Okay. My pack is so light, I, can, I barely know it's... This is a stolen axe. Oh my god. Why did he take no damage from that? And they have mages? What? What is this? I'm trying to fight them one at a time, but... They're even making that. And I promise I'll kill you quickly. They're all dancing. While you can. This armor straight up looks like the Tuscan Raider armor. Oh shit, the cow? The cow? The cow backup? Yo! <laughs> the ancestors are satisfied. That cow is a homie. What? Yeah, the cow does way more damage than me. Look, he, he just rolled up and then he dipped. He, he, <laughs> the cow killed the one Dunmer enemy and then dipped. Even the fucking Windhelm cows are racist as hell. Even the cows. Even the cows are racist as hell. <laughs> what the? How skinny you are. Oh, the cow, cow, you missed one more Dunmer. What is going- I'm stuck. I'm, I'm literally stuck. I'm literally stuck. They killed the cow! And they killed some- Bro, what the fuck is it? What difficulty am I on? This is novice? Everyone is a complete bullet sponge. over here. They just kill an NPC. Does Lorem have Game of Thrones dragons? It does. I'm, I'm gonna go fight something else. This is just... It's just... That's insane. I don't get why I'm doing... I'm the novice difficulty doing zero damage. Wait, what the heck? I don't know why they have that much health. Even the level one guys. Is there some mod doing that? We're gonna find another day. Yeah. But what am I supposed to fight though? If if the bandits are just bullet spongy, simply balanced maybe. Or Sky Valor or something. That doesn't 
Oh, it does have simply balance. It has simply balance, but nothing is on. Interesting. It's a battle best. If the list have Wildcat, I very highly doubt it has Wildcat. Yeah, no, it doesn't have Wildcat. Am I included if that thing's on? I don't know. I don't know. Debating on poking a moderator about bumping Empyrean to featured status. Hey, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Might be the rapier. All the I I was doing really bad damage with like every weapon though. Not sure why. your enemy uh maybe hopefully not that mod sucks what's up going um doing all right actually i just really like man i i slept way too long today but um i don't know it's it's weird, like I haven't really seen, I haven't really seen outside of Requiem somebody successfully make a list that was difficult and not bullet spongy. It, it, I don't know, like I don't, I don't like combat where a regular enemy takes a million hits to kill. It's not fun. Challenge accepted. I mean, it, I, I don't know how you would even go about doing it, though. You'd have to, like... Well, number one, you have to de-level the world. So that enemy's health doesn't scale based on their level. It's actually easy just to add Wildcat. Wildcat is not difficult. Wildcat without Requiem, you just one-shot everything. If you crank up the difficulty numbers. Oh, crashing. Need to load a different save, I think. I've, I've, trust me, I've played Wildcat with the increased diff, the damage numbers, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. Yeah, I mean, it's easier than just playing Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty, which isn't hard to begin with. Many of the mod lists you've done, what's your favorite most recommended? My favorite is my own list. Recommended doesn't make any sense because uh, everybody has different tastes and like what they want from a list. I usually custom tune damage to realistic a few things in your... Yeah, that's not difficult though, Boingo. Because the problem is... AI sucks. You need more than just... Um, you need more than just... Changing the damage received. Because the player... The player is always going to be able to have a huge upper hand when it comes to fighting enemies and then you're just gonna like you can crank you can make it so that that you get one shot but if you're doing more damage than you should be like you're just gonna destroy everything you need to 
disable survival mods. You can just disable survival mode. Just disable survival mode and pretty much all the survival stuff is gone. <clears throat> you don't have to eat, sleep, worry about cold. Even just modifying the AI isn't enough. You have to rebalance all the weapons and armor. Like I said, you have to de-level the world. On Lorem and Labrum to be pretty good with this AI. Yeah. With Lorem, I mean, that's the other thing. You have to also distribute uh, skills and spells and everything to the enemy. Like, there's a, there's a lot that goes into, you know, making the game actually feel difficult without bullet spongy. <laughs> What's the favorite? Why do you? Why do you? Why does it matter? I mean, I've told people before, but they never like my answer because then i i just label two i just named two more requiem lists and they're like that isn't the answer what i was looking for i don't like requiem i wanted i wanted biggie to say his favorite mod list was an ostim based one so that i could say that i'm playing biggie's favorite list It really doesn't matter what my favorite list is. It, it like genuinely really doesn't matter. Well, I know your favorite mod list. I don't know what type of Skyrim you like. I'm getting a lot of freezes. My favorite. I'm gonna just, I wonder if it's due to the bandit camp. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, maybe I'll start a new save, to be honest. I think that one might be screwed. Try a different, different character too. Yeah, exactly. Why, I'm not gonna make a mod list that I don't wanna play, at least for, for my first one. I don't get why people don't like Requiem. I can't play anything besides Requiem at this point. I know why people don't like Requiem. I, I know why people don't like Requiem. Would it be possible to add Frostfall plus I need on Requiem? Uh, yeah. I mean, the Halls of Sovngarde has Frostfall. Sometimes you bake a cake, but it might not be your favorite. Yeah, but that's a... That's not like a good analogy. I think a better analogy would be like building a house. Like, I'm not going to build a house that takes a long ass time that I hate. I'm not going to purposefully making it make a, something that requires that much effort bad. So the people, the reason why people don't like Requiem, well, some people are just scared to try it, first of all. Some people, I think the other issue is people go into it with the assumption that it's going to play out like Skyrim, where you're level one, so every everything is like super easy and it's like a, almost like a tutorial. I don't get it though, because most people watching probably have at least like a few hundred hours in Skyrim. So you've played Skyrim a million times before. Shouldn't at this point, I mean, I don't know, like this is just my, this is why I like Requiem is like, shouldn't like after playing Skyrim for so long, wouldn't you want like the gameplay loop to be a little bit more in depth than hey i spawn in and everything is easy you know what i mean like 
I find fun in the challenge. Hey, what's good, Commander? When I first tried Requiem first enemy I faced was a frostbite spider. And when the poison messed up my view and paralyzed me, I just booted it out. I mean, you can disable it on the, those effects. But yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I I, I, I like Requiem. That's... And the, the other misconception is Requiem gets easier over time. The, the every level, you're, the world around you is the world around you. Your character is the only thing that grows. So, you know, you, um, you get stronger as you progress, not weaker. Meaning those bandits that kicked your ass at level one, well, you're gonna go back at level 10 and one shot them. You know what I mean? You're gonna, you're gonna go back and you're gonna get your revenge. You're gonna kick their ass. And then you're gonna be like, wow, my character really is grown compared to the wimp I was a few levels ago. And that's why I like Requiem. Eventually you just become like a, a walking god. And the only thing that like is actually a, a challenge to you are the dragon priests and dragons and especially Alduin and Mirak, the things that should be. But like at higher levels, like you just like laugh at bandits, at Draugr. I think that's, I think that's, that's uh, the problem. I think if you, if you give up at level one, I think you already missed the point of Requiem. You actually like level scaling? I don't like level scaling. How many races? Uh, I think it has like four or five custom ones. What's up, Brandon? I remove static leveling from Lorem. How are you gonna even do that? Oh, you mean static skill leveling? Uh, yeah, it's gonna. Probably break some stuff. Listen, like, please uh, don't use the stream to come in and uh, ask how to break Lorem because it's r rule 11 anyway. So if, if I'm not going to probably respond to you in Discord, you know, like, you it's just, if you want to break a list, you got to figure it out on yourself, on your own. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. If if you have to ask, will this break it? You probably shouldn't be modding it. Honor and glory to you, child of Hammerfell. If you have to ask if something is gonna get, get broken, then you probably don't know how to properly mod it out. Add positive and negative prompts and then bam, perfect game for yourself in 50 years. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, for AI? What turns me away from Requiem with my own setup is all the adjustments and patches and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, this scenery is beautiful. What? Well, I'm not sure what this landscape... I'm not digging the landscape. Is this also vivid? Because it kind of has the same uh, plasticky look. But the uh, foliage is nice. I don't know if this is vivid or what. Huh. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. 
We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is, is crawling gestures. with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore. But if you want to get yourself killed, go. Alright. Finally, I'm... I'm hoping yeah. that the Alec here... Will, uh... Being an Alec here will be a little bit better. I guess let me get unarmored defense again. Carrying capacity, stamina region. Yeah. Yo, Lux, how are you? How's the content on Windenik? I think it has a lot of like, uh, I mean, it has like campfire and stuff. I don't think it's really survival focused. Um, but it does have stuff like campfire. And I think it has like a bunch of quest months. Or like, not like a bunch, but I think it has a good few. You don't think Modded Scram will stop in 10 years? Who's Esmeralda? I mean, people still mod Oblivion in more than, but I, I think Skyrim modding isn't... If, if Elder Scrolls 6 is even like somewhat decent engine-wise and somewhat easy to mod, then I think, um, I don't think, I think Skyrim modding is going to slow down a lot. And from what I've heard, um, Elder Scrolls 6 is closer than a lot of people think. Apparently they're pushing for a 2026 release. And maybe even 2025, the next next year. We'll see if that ends up being true. But I I think I think Elder Scrolls 6 at the latest 2026. And I think honestly, if if it's even a mediocre game that is easy to mod, it's it's gonna kill Skyrim modding. She's doing a pacifist run. Yeah. Did that give me like a ton of levels or something, by the way? Do. Do that. Do one handed. Do one handed and spitting. Hello, Scroll 6 will be a disappointment. Uh, I don't know. I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be pretty much as mediocre as Skyrim was. The real... I mean, here's the, here's the problem. Is... People aren't gonna want to keep modding and playing Skyrim after Elder Scrolls 6. I, I really don't. I don't see that happening. Hey, Boyanga, appreciate the membership. I think Elder Scrolls 6 will suck, but I, I, if you think people at Skyrim modding is gonna stay at the same level after Elder Scrolls 6, I don't know what to tell you. It'll. Then it'll be dry without mods. Well, it's that's literally Skyrim. I, 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 I mean, why aren't here? Why aren't you guys playing vanilla Skyrim? If vanilla Skyrim is really that good, why aren't you guys playing it? And you gotta remember, vanilla Skyrim isn't even like special edition. Go play, go play a uh, old rim. Without any Creation Club stuff, with a crappy engine, with everything, this and that. Skyrim... Skyrim vanilla is really fucking awful. <laughs> like, mods... Mods are the only thing that keeps Skyrim going. If if the modding scene just died, Skyrim would die with it. I mean, there, there are people who like vanilla Skyrim for some weird fucked up reason. But for the most part, um... You know, it's such a bland game. Yeah, no unofficial patches. It, it it's it's hard for us to see Skyrim without a uh, without all the stuff at it. Bro, have you seen the PlayStation people absolutely see when they see a picture of? 
Yeah, but that's because PlayStation people are just salty that they can't have good mods. It's a problem with Bethesda's new releases. They have to compete with decades of mods. I don't, th that's not true. That's not true. Here, here's the thing. A modded Oblivion was way better than vanilla Skyrim. When Skyrim came out, I played it for one or two playthroughs, then I went back to Oblivion. Until the mods got cooked up. The difference between Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6 is that Starfield has zero lore. It takes place in such an uninteresting universe. The concept behind it is bad. So even if Elder Scrolls 6 is like pretty mid, it's still Elder Scrolls, and it's still hopefully going to be moddable. I mean, I'm sure it will be moddable. And the other thing is Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be using the same engine as Starfield, meaning the creation tools are going to be available when Elder Scrolls 6 rolls around or very shortly after. The real question is how integrated are paid mods going to be in Elder Scrolls 6? That's my biggest worry. Because if Elder Scrolls 6 paid mods are like a big focal point, then yeah, modding it will suck. But I still think that Skyrim, the Skyrim modding scene will suffer. Like, truth be told, I don't even mind because I would rather Skyrim modding get to a point where the mods like kind of slow down. Because there's so many mods out there already. It's, it's it's hard keeping track of all the new updates and constantly updating your mod list and this and that. I'd rather they slow down to a point where you can just like finally take a big deep breath and look at what's there and what you want to add and make your 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 final you know magnum opus. Oh, but I'm one shot into mud crabs. Isn't most of the mods just degenerate skimpy stuff? Uh, for what? Skyrim? Or Starfield? You think they really try paid mods? They do have paid mods though. I mean, you just gotta go to the creation club thing and you can see paid mods. And they opened up the, the application so anyone can apply to be a paid mod author. I could go. I could go apply to be a Bethesda not dot net paywalled author. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a fuck. Are you guys gonna hate me? Are you guys gonna hate me if I make a fucked up comment? I feel like a jerk for saying this. Why does this look more like Ultima than Ultima? <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but why does this look more like Ultima than Ultima does? I can't get over the I think maybe it's maybe it's because I'm playing with the with this this hairstyle. <laughs> Why does this look more like fucking Ultima? Like from the trailers and stuff? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like this is, this actually does look beautiful though. It's like, besides the landscape, uh, uh, some of the landscapes, these ones are okay, but this uh, vivid snow was not it. This actually looks solid. I changed my, uh, let me see what smooth cam stuff I got. Out of war, okay. I need to change my, uh, little swap key. What's up, Nico? Active is Oblivion modding. I get some new mods from time to time, but it, oh my god, Maik! Maik, are you fucking pregnant? Maik wishes you well. That ain't even fat, dude. You're 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 about ready to pop. Congratulations. 
Some say Alduin is a Katosh. Some say Maik is a liar. Don't you believe either of those things? <laughs> Wait, what if I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, been hitting the treats a little too hard. <laughs> He's been eating too many frosted flakes. <laughs> My cast the cake. <laughs> New name, Kaik. Is Nux Ultima already released? Yeah, it got released a few days ago. I will say, Wind Ake is looking pretty solid. all my sweet roll. Maik the liar has been stealing all those sweet rolls. Finally found him. This poor girl's spine. I know I am kind of walking around with like a hunchback. There we go. All the six gonna be insane. Yeah it looks good. Oh god. Whoa, holy shit. I never know when what this guy's doing because he has his. Oh shit! Okay, that that sprint attack. That's the play. And bounce. All right. Get my stamina back up. Oh god, no. It's all ogre now. How do you get the camera that close? Looks like Ultima. Just smooth cam preset. Is this the God of War preset? The Minotaur from Ultima trailer. That's one of Mihail's. I was actually kicking his ass. But I mean, hey, this looks pretty solid. This looks pretty solid. If you want a vibrant, if you want like a vibrant sort of list, damn, it's actually pretty good. Last question about Requiem. Would it work if I disabled my current combat mods and add Requiem and run Rectificator? I don't, you don't, you don't even, I don't think you really need to disable combat mods. I mean, it depends on what the mods are. I mean, you could technically, if you wanted to Ultima's exact smooth camp preset, you could just take it and install it. I mean, here, like, let me show you. You, if you want just a smooth cam preset, I'm pretty sure it's just listed under the files here. They do NUC smooth cam preset. Grab that. Just install it. Well, you just got to make sure it doesn't, uh, I mean, you, it doesn't matter if it conflicts, you just want to have both of them, but 
launch it back up and then you can after you enable it here you can just launch up the list and load it up so you can play any list that has smooth cam with that preset What would be a breaking mod in Skyrim? Something you'd like to see yourself? I would want a all in one um, armor and weapon and spell mod from all the lore. That's what I would want. All every every weapon, armor, spell, clothing item from previous games, just and then really well quality that match matches with uh, all the base game stuff, just for more variety for everything. Or like a very good uh, attribute system that's balanced. Hey, welcome and drunk. I feel like the Nucked Cam is a tad bit too close. Yeah. Often do you actually complete a full playthrough? Pretty often. I feel like I do one at least once a month. Maybe once every other month for like... I mean, I, I kind of do like smaller playthroughs where I just set myself a goal on what I want to do and what I want to accomplish. But I've I've killed Alduin several times, both on and off stream, within the last year. Is it friends? Kill move, throwing them to the ground. Isn't there a kill move that lets you sit on their face? So now we go back to smooth cam. Presets. Load this. And then I'll change my default shoulder swap key. Just the, just the preset. To be fair, I don't really like this one. I don't like that it doesn't actually like change shoulders. It feels, it's just off, you know? I feel like this one's mo more for like making videos than actually playing the game. My favorite is still my the the Hellblade one. It kind of wobbles around too much. Yeah, I mean, like this is why I'm saying like I think this one's definitely made more for video stuff. I like the God, the God of War one that's included in here. That's probably my second favorite. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to that one. Edge UI? I don't care about that UI mod. I made you add stances to Lorem. People. I don't really care that much about stances if I'm being honest. I was wondering so far versus something like Vagabond. Maybe they're different. 
Not even the gameplay uh, overhaul is the same. Okay, I feel like this guy. If I don't get that stagger, I'm dead. Do I have like... Attacks. Oh, that's why I gotta attack him with full stamina. How's the ground texture at the bridge leaving Riverwood going away? I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we can go to Riverwood. Let's check out Riverwood. Oh wow, this is a very... What river? What is this? Gaunts? Woodsheds of Skyrim. Oh. Interesting. I mean, it's, yeah, very, very lush uh, Riverwood, like, uh, one Nick has always had. I mean, like, if, if you want super vibrant fantasy, this is, like, probably one of the best looking ones. Too vibrant for you? Wait, so yeah, I mean everybody has their taste. You're not serious. You prefer lush green sure scarm than we got some furs and trees and thickens. Paint them white and then tie them to stone. Instant frostbite spider. Frognar, nobody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider. And if they do, how does this compare to Melvis? It's, it's a different list. I don't know what to tell you. They're different. You can see the visual differences. Novus doesn't look like this. Novus, Novus, uh, oh God, freeze. Novus definitely has more um, of a darker tone to it. I mean, I don't know, like, cause a modless tone, a lot of it is due to uh, ENB. I'm not sure which ENB this is. Looks kind of like cabbage. a few freezes though. Cross the bridge then look back please. Why? How's the performance apart from freezes? It's it's chunky. Although I am playing on the ultra profile. So if you want more frames then Yeah, I know it's an FPS drop. I don't know why Nico's over here trying to sabotage me. I I, I know what happens when you look back. Novus is too famous for their own good. See, it gets compared like every day. I mean, listen, Novus is a solid list, but yeah, I agree. It's, it is kind of a, like, not everything has to be compared to Novus. And, and this is not like a criticism, like Vec, no, Vec, Vector can't help that Novus is popular, right? The issue is, here, here's the issue with Novus. Not the issue with Novus itself as a mod list, because it's a good list, you know? And I think Novus version six is going to be good too. 
The issue is there's a lot of YouTubers who just grab Novus and we're just telling everybody that it's the best list. And that, sh that shit is pretty annoying. There is no best list, period. Everybody has a different taste in mod lists. Some people like Novus, some people don't like Novus. Like, Novus isn't even my favorite list, nor was it ever, even though I think it's pretty solid. Like, nothing against Vector, nothing against Novus, but holy shit, <laughs> like, it isn't the best list because there is no best list. You know, there's, Novus is a Ni Rim power fantasy MCO list with Seasons of Skyrim, solid visuals, big cities. That's all great, but it has a lot of stuff that, like, I don't even like the winches, which are going to get removed in the next version, but still. Some of the animations in Novus I find too flashy, you know? Some people like stuff more grounded. Some people like stuff way more vibrant like this. Some people like stuff less vibrant like Chargren. Some people like stuff without MCO, like Lost Legacy. Some people like stuff that's close to vanilla, both in terms of feel and visuals. Some people, I mean, there's, there's so many lists out there. Some people like hardcore cock and ball torture difficulty lists like RK's Commandment. Like everybody has a different preference for mod lists. Let's go check out the exterior of White Run. And your favorite today might not be tomorrow. Exactly, my top five is always changing, always. After I've played a certain style of list for long enough, I get burnt out and I want to play something else. That's the beauty of modding Skyrim. Like, probably I'll get a board of Requiem again in the future and then I'll go to do something else, you know? That one terabyte mod pack, Vagabond? Yeah, I played a good bit of Vagabond. Oh, this was too flashy for my taste, but I like some JRPG. Many people like that, but not my taste. Yeah, oh, FPS in the rain is heavy. I feel like some grass is missing or something. What the heck? This, this is the intended look. Kind of weird seeing the green grass, the yellow terrain. This should be good. Artichoke. Is what you want, huh? Where is it? Hey, Ella. There she is. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield. And we show up to solve. If you go to him. Good luck. Okay. How's it on survival and immersion? It doesn't have pretty much any survival immersion stuff, Vagabond. Vagabond isn't focused at all on survival. It's focused on like uh, having a bunch of weapons, armors, adding unique animation sets to different weapons and armors, Elden Ring stuff like Ashes of War. And this is a massive, uh, what is that over there? Is that the, is that, the, don't tell me that's the, um, I could be wrong. Is that the Dragonborn University thing where you set, send the orphan children? Okay, I need to check that out. Because I remember, I haven't played, I, I'm hoping that's what that is. I haven't played with that mod in forever. That shit is so dope. I'm hoping that's what that is. It could be something else though. Wildlander. You have to manually download, downgrade though to play Wildlander. I would personally recommend Halls of Sovereign Guard if you want Wildlander. It's, it's like Wildlander, but more up-to-date, better visuals and bigger cities. 
Wildlander hasn't been updated in like two years. What are the most distinctive and unique mod lists? Um, I mean, there's untitled mod list that is just like chaos. Why am I getting distracted and fighting mud crabs? This be your lorem save? Hell yeah. I feel like this place is missing grass. Uh, it doesn't look like there's grass lods. Which does look, maybe, and keep in mind, this is like a early version, so maybe he just hasn't run grass cache yet, and he plans to, right? So that's prob, that might be why it looks off. I, I kind of like this, I want to know what grass this is. I don't like it. I don't like the grass mod. Like in general. I want to check out the rift too. I need to stop freezing though. The freezes. Labrum. You know, the thing is, I didn't find Libram hard except for the dragon fights and those were impossible. Dragon fights crazy. No, it's not crashing, it's freezing. Which makes me think, like, it's not my system. I really highly doubt it's my system. So I, I'm thinking that there's like some assets somewhere that are just missing. No, nah, it's, it, I, I really doubt it's Windows. Usually when it happens that many times in a list, there's like some some asset that isn't properly like actually like there's there's a, a a reference that it's trying to find and it just can't find it. Is it a common issue or just you? I don't have this issue with other lists. Ooh, thank you. Got some more Belf jerky, homemade beef jerky. Sovereign Guard? Which Sovereign Guard gates or halls? Or Sovereign Guard, Sovereign Guard? <laughs> There's three different Sovereign Guard lists. My wife is the best. What are you talking about, Nico? I always bring your stuff. Did the model start to design the logo himself? I don't know if he did or somebody did for him, but he might have done it himself. Because I know he does, uh, the author does like a lot of graphics type mods, like food add ons and stuff like that. OJ oh, Serpas. I just wish it wasn't on Vortex. I hate Vortex. Your wife is the best. Maybe for you. Or we'll we'll say that we're both lucky. How about that? No, oh, it's good, Megatron. Version Vortex versus Chat MO2, pretty much. No, Halls doesn't have a support. Let me try to go this way. See if I can walk around the freeze. It might have something to do with the uh, grass cache or something. Or lack thereof. I'm only nuts because I want Biggie to change the letter. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. 
What the heck happened there? Oh, I wonder if this has Picta Realis. Because Picta Realis has some issues still. That might be why the freezes are happening. Picta, Picta Realis is still kind of a work in progress. And it has stuff like that. No, this isn't the, the thing that I thought. Only time I ever used Vortex was when I gave modding Cyber Prank 2077 a try. But no amount of modding can make Keanu Reeves BFF simulator into an RPG. Yeah. Hot take, Cyberpunk is kind of overrated. Cyberpunk is 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 a modern gamer's wet dream. It's hundred it's 10 out of 10 visuals, 0 out of 10 gameplay. It's literally just what it, 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 it's like. If you want beautiful visuals, but no gameplay, have you ever heard of this thing called outside? <laughs> have you ever heard of this thing called life? No, but I don't, I don't know. Like I, I couldn't, I cyberpunk was boring to me. I thought Cyberpunk was excellent now. Maybe, I, I just don't, I don't like the gameplay of it. <laughs> what, I would say, Cyberpunk was fun. Hey, some people like it, and that's fine. I, I didn't. Just like the questing system. They called it a next-gen RPG, yet they couldn't make it a current-gen RPG. You liked it. Hey, I mean, hey, people, some people like it. Some people like it. Oh, I think this is where you, I think this is where you uh, do the automaton things. Where you make the dwarven automatons. Hey, they even have dwarven armor. Artex, do Artex. Honestly, I didn't have any expectations for Cyberpunk either. And I still didn't like it. I, I will admit that the updates have made it better, but I just, I just don't like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I couldn't immerse myself in the world. I think my issue is every time I play Cyberpunk, I try to play it like Grand Theft Auto, but in the future, but it just isn't. It's it's very much like a story-driven game, rather rather than rather than being like fully kind of like open world, do whatever you want sort of thing. Do I like Fallout? Yeah, I like Fallout. Should take all the dwarven. Maybe I should do heavy armor. No. You low key want to play Fallout 4 modded? I low key want to make a Fallout 4 mod list, but I don't know if I want to put myself through that. I think I'd rather wait until uh, I know more about the next gen update and then maybe. I believe that's solace. Yo, this place is crazy. What? You know what I want to play with? 
I want to play that new, um, um, pirate mod for Skyrim. That's what I want. Did you guys see that new mod that came out that lets you be a pirate? That's what I'm, I'm going to put that in Lorem. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to go check out Riften. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. What's it called? I don't even remember. No, with a ship. You get to be a pirate with a ship. And it's not saleable ships. I have a bookmark somewhere. But you get to do <clears throat> pirate versus pirate stuff. What grass one is, is this Vedas Brahm or something? This is like a custom grass thing. Here, bring me backwards. There we go. Hey, good night, Elmar. Hold on. Hey, what is, what are those potions? Soul sediment? What does that do? Increases weapon art level? What? Oh, you know what I think is going causing the freezes? I just saw it. I think it might be the... Uh, the HDT SMP install. Because his hair is like freaking out. How many is that one part? No. No, I'm not talking about a mod list. I'm talking about a, a mod for Skyrim. It No, it's a brand new mod that came out like within the last week or two. It's got nothing to do with a mod list or anything else. It's a standalone pirate mod, yes. That nobody's talking about. It's crazy to me. So I'll showcase it soon. I have a bookmark somewhere in my screen bookmarks. I just don't know the name of it off the top of my head. The standalone pirate mod. And it looks really good. of the Abyssin, maybe. Yeah, I think it's that Northern Cardinal mod. Something like that. Jack Sparrow preset. I'm down. This is another mod that I don't really understand it, it was recommended to me so many times to put in lorem it's the eso anchors or whatever oh they're so ugly you can't tell me that that looks okay <laughs> you can't you can't you won't be able to convince me ever that that looks okay they look fine from like a distance you have to just be really far away like like over here That chrome, I don't know.
Another freeze. It looks like a lot. That's what it actually looks like though. Well, let's let's check out the uh, non ultra profile. See how it compares. Maybe the maybe the ultra profile isn't cooked yet. Oh, there is a community shaders profile too. Oh, check grass. Yeah. All right, next freeze. I'll check what grass is being used. ESO started out being more friendly, but that went out the window. Yeah. The ESO, like after the, the last update, I don't consider it canon at all. Like, oh, there was a secret Daedric Prince that nobody remembers. Wipe their memory. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Mentioned adding only a few mods at a time and making a list, but how do you balance that with LOTD? You add it and then you open up X edit. To be perfectly honest, I don't think you can make a large and proper list that's stable and relatively bug free without knowing X edit. If you rely on loot and uh, bash patches and only synthesis patches and stuff like that, I don't think, uh, I don't think you can make a properly functioning mod list. It's just a matter of fact. See if there's an Imperial. Interesting. I'm gonna do a non-dint hairstyle too. Let's do like a I'm gonna do a non-SMP hairstyle. Cause I have a feeling that there might be something going on with the SMP installation. When should I install Lorem? When it's done? Lorem is done, but I still update it. They can get it whenever. Yeah, fringing on Lorem a bit too much there, yeah. We all got hit with the memory wipe from Men in Black, yeah. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Member of the Penitus. May your duties bring you enlightenment. I suppose there's no MCM recorder. So hopefully everything's pre-configured.
reshade preset for Dawnfire? I don't think Dawnfire needs a reshade. And I kind of stopped using reshade altogether. It eats system resources like crazy. Need something? And y'all gave me the light armor. Yes. How long did it take to make Lorem? I started development like December. But I already knew what I wanted to add. Took like, I don't know, three months, two, three months. I developed it pretty quick. Yeah, you should absolutely use a SSD. Say it is fine, M.2 is better, but. This is my, uh, this is the one texture of Northern Roads that I actually really like. This one right here. I really like these roads. And the blend with, with the Dragon Bridge is nice too. Not gonna lie, I don't like the shield. <laughs> I'm going shieldless. Shield is too bulky. Maybe I'll dual wield. Knife and dagger. I've been making it sword and dagger. The only issue with is um, then this same texture keeps being used the entire way. Even in places where it doesn't really make sense to use. It just kind of keeps going. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna feed and test in purposes mode because I just want to see stuff. <laughs> Wait, why did I put my... What is going on? People like it specifically for that, I don't. Uh, Sky Blibbon for sure. I don't really. I, hot take, I don't care about <laughs> Beyond Skyrim, really. Like, like any of it, I don't. I, I don't know, the, the Beyond Skyrim stuff, like Brumos is kind of whatever. I know a lot of people like Bruma, but for me it was just, I don't know, you do it once and then you just kind of like whatever. 
But I would really, I really am looking forward to uh, replaying uh, um, what should I call it? Oblivion within the Skyrim engine. This Nordic UI. That's kind of blood. Oh my god, another freeze. Mmm, freezy, freezy. Uh, I think mostly it just uses the For Honor animations for everything. I mean, a lot of lists use them. I think the For Honor animations are fine if you uh, don't use the... I'm going to go back to the Ultra Profile. I think the For Honor animations are fine if um, you're not using the side-to-side -side movement stuff. Yeah, the, the freezing is quite intense. Imagine Oblivion getting a remaster now. I guarantee you they canceled the plans for that. Because that was like from pre-COVID. And it was supposed to release like this year or something. So I, I bet you they canceled it with COVID. But uh, for me personally, like... Daggerfall remaster. Elder Scroll 6 is just Daggerfall. With the same scale. Skywind? Yeah, Skywind I'm sure will be released. Because, um, like, you can see the work that Skywind does. They stream pretty regularly. remake of arena arena doesn't have much going for it though arena is basically just the main quest like it's a very short game and somebody already remade the uh story of arena within daggerfall ashes of war yeah it's in uh vagabond Never played it. Yeah, this Arena Arena was a very small like Arena is the type of game that like they could just that you could put on like a Game Boy. for the For Honor animations. I don't mind For Honor animations, I just don't like the uh, the true directional movement gliding stuff that it has. It's freezing so much. MCM registered 63, 62 new menus. Supplements automatically get used? No. It looks like I'm smashing the bottle into my eyes. See, whenever I get at the menu, my hair goes crazy. I don't know why I feel like it might be a SMP thing. Well, no, no, I was getting confused with the other stuff.
Dog Dash of War. How do I use this? Use the weapon art. Is it like a spell? Didn't I didn't I figure this out last time I played Wundanik? I feel like I did. Oh it, wait, this has the uh, grip switch. So I could have been using a two-handed weapon the whole time. Chanting equipment? I can just enchant stuff directly from here, what the heck. Crafting items. Arcane points, Ash of War Fortune. Counterdag by Cassian. Hog your dodge move when equipped. this stuff works. You assign it to a number key. I tackle this wolf. <laughs> I don't know how to trigger the Ash of War stuff though. X, middle mouse. Blah, blah, blah. Is just about every button. The weapon art stuff is so confusing. I like how in uh, Vagabond it's just like a power. The Ash of War is just a power. Oops. That's like, that's easy enough for my little pea brain to understand. Once you start having to like go through menus and stuff, I am lost. I like this running animation. Hey, okay, twin blade. Oh, but he uses the great sword animation. I guess that it's that's the closest thing. The great sword. Theme focus, uh, kind of like modern combat, modern visual. Fantasy 
favor weather mod? Nat. Nat 3. Not even for the weather itself, just because of the ENB choices. If ENB, if I could have like any ENB with any weather, uh, it'd probably be like, probably be like obsidian weathers, I'd say. If, the, if, if we weren't even looking at ENBs. Obsidian or maybe even Cathedral. But honestly, when Picta Realis is more uh, fleshed out, um, then I think that might end up being my... I think I might end up switching to that. All right, see you, Hollow. All I know is I'm gonna be like soul sediment things. Yeah, something tells me the LODs aren't um, done yet. Maybe that's why I'm getting freezes and crashes. Because uh, that doesn't look right. Looking at the distance. <laughs> they probably hasn't implemented them yet, if I could guess. Yeah, I saw Jay Serpa's new mod. I like Obsidian with Ak when Nocketon add on. I don't know what that is. It's Ak when Nocketon. Man, see, without those anchors, that would look so crazy. Those anchors kill it. But I, I, I like that bottom part. Looks kind of cool. Your mammoth died! That's sad. not want to stay bright. Oh, I never did go to uh, Alcrete. I kind of want to check out that area, see what that looks like. Let me go to Riverwood and then I'm going to go backwards to, to Falkreath. So we can check out the scenery there. Riverwood looks pretty crazy in this. Like that? That looks crazy good. Windhelm. Uh, I, I was at Windhelm. It, it wasn't anything crazy. Riverwood always looked good. Modded Riverwood, yeah. No! He's using the soap water! Soap. That's soap, ain't it? The soap ain't it. What the fuck was that noise? That was me deflating. I don't, this is just—I don't know. This this water, the the effects, they ain't, they're just hard to look at. With the water foam, it's the TMB water foam or whatever it's called.
is pure water. I just use water for EMB with natural waterfalls. This this can look kind of cool for like screenshots, right? You can get it at a, like a nice angle. Or something. It almost looks like bad parallax though. I don't know how to explain it. It's so odd. Simplicity of C. Like water for EMB. Well, I use the I use water for EMB shades of Skyrim. And that's the only water mod that actually has different water colors. Otherwise, you get the same water in, like, everywhere. <laughs> With TV static. Yeah. Uh, I'm like that. Alright, let's go to Falkreath. Let me also get a Guardian Stone. Yeah, I think the lods aren't done yet. Realistic water too. Uh, I like water for AMB. This. Oh, this, it does use the archwood. Interesting, interesting. I haven't seen the archwood without the, uh, the other stuff before. So it's like he just took the trees from the archwood. That's that's actually kind of sick. That's actually kind of sick. I was like, what is that? Those do look pretty cool. That's very unique. That's a very unique tree mashup. Seasons? I don't think there's seasons. And thankfully, I'm not, I don't like seasons. Choice of water. Yeah, I mean everybody has their preference, but you picked a bad time to get lost. Right? Oh, I did a time dodge, I think. That's all you've got. Bad dog. Punch it. Kick it. You call yourself a warrior. You're as good as dead. All right, you know what? Why do I do no damage? You can't hide from me. You can't win this. My mom said I could do anything I want. The white take you. <laughs> Tala smite you. All right, you know what? Since you're gonna talk all that shit. He's dancing. I pulled up the I pulled up with the coconut shield. She just started dancing at me. The disrespect is crazy. Smaller shield. He yeah. What? Yeah, the SMP is definitely off. The install for it. I think that might be a Breeze culprit. Yeah, th these forests are crazy good looking. Very jungle like. All the foliage. I feel like I'm I'm right at home in Florida. It's pretty cool though. Oh, 
coconut crab shield. Go over that sh shield when blocking prevented all range damage. That'd be kind of cool. They're jealous of the trees. Yeah, this is a sick tree mashup. Although... Although... Yeah, that's a... Yeah, uh, 10k draw calls, it ain't that bad. I, I only start sweating when I'm at like 20k draw calls. I think anything below 20k for 2024 is solid. Especially for Falkreath. I like this shield. This shield's cool. I wish I could keep that, the draw calls. I think about 5k. Yeah, it does depend on CPU usage for sure. CPU power. My frames, when I jump especially. I'm gonna turn on the FPS counter. I haven't gotten freezes over here though. Welcome child. Child? Ooh, 20 FPS. Ooh. I think that's VRAM. I don't think that's I don't think that's CPU. I think that's VRAM. Oh god. Yeah, I'm playing on 4K. So much for saying I don't get any freezes here. Well. Let me reinstall um, SMP. Actually, let, let's 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 actually see what else is here before I um go too far into all this the lods outputs it doesn't have the oh it does have dindalot i'm confused even has vrammer uh what else let's check out the grass Oh, I had a feeling. Eh? Oh, oh, so it uses QW's Grass Patch 1. Folkfanger, Flora Orientalis, Vedasprom, Vinland Grass Patch. Interesting. Let me see how he has it set up. I'm curious. I do like the grass. Unique Solstheim grass. Hmm. I actually do like the grass. I like the grass a lot. How does everyone have the real wheat fields mod? Yeah, that's 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 kind of cool. Fluffy fields, green tundra. 
Oh, this is going to Nick's grass patch. Okay. I like the grass. And depths of Skyrim. I mean, this is the uh, Vinland grass patch. I like the Vinland forest, I think, more than I like uh, QWs. I don't like the tundra, though. I mean, actually, but the brown tundra might not be too bad. But I kind of, I'm kind of sick of Origin of the Forest. I think, I think it's just way too much interesting what's up Powell how do you like it so far it's uh it, it's pretty good but it, I'm just getting a lot of freezes can you compare it to Chargren I don't I don't like comparing mod lists side by side especially when they aren't the same at all do all mod packs keep separate fail save files from one another? Pretty much. Mm, where are the trees? has a lot of different uh, trees, huh? So fabled forests, moist, bird trees, the archwood, Wigfried's oaks, Yggdrasil trees. Oh no, that's just the floating island thing. And Aspen's ablaze. Hmm. Pretty cool tree mashup, to be honest. It actually works surprisingly well. We got moist for Morthal. Yeah, it's a pretty smart tree mashup without using nature of the wildlands or or Olvenwald. Yeah, some other stuff like girth. Interesting. I left your animation stand set up for my mod list because all this was a bit too anime. Yeah, I mean, I mostly use uh, For Honor animations and then Imperium, Nordic, and uh, Desert Race. I'm not, the freezes are nothing to do with Windows. I was playing like my own list earlier and I wasn't getting any freezes and I haven't updated Windows yet. the mod list itself. Unfortunately. Which is pretty rare. I mean, I could boot up a different list to see if it really is just my PC freaking out. I guess I can do that real quick. But I, I highly doubt it. I have Nova's Vagabond, Elder Gleam, and now Wounded Ink. Just wanted to make sure so. Was... The only time that they would use the same saves is if um, they keep the saves not stored within the profiles. But almost every mod list does. 
I think there's a few that don't. But, um, they're pretty rare. Let me let me launch up something else and then see if I'm getting freezes still. I'm a beginner trying to improve my combat AI. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good AI combat mods out there. It's like modern combat AI. That's a Good one, aggressive AI. Um, I think Val Riven Combat has a built in AI. Uh, and then, if you use MCO, you definitely want to make sure you have a scar patched um, animations and a bunch of other stuff. messages. Same. I'm just gonna run around really fast and see if I get any freezes in this. I better freeze, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be mad if I don't freeze and crash. Player dot set actor value speed mult five hundred. Yo, what's up, Grifflet? You're giving Laura a go after the Requiem discussion? Hell yeah. How's the wind, Nick Ben? Um, I've been getting a lot of freezes, so right now I'm uh, testing to see if I get them in Lorem as well. So that way I can determine if it's the actual mod list or my PC. Like there's been a lot of freezes. Ever tried only illusion magic build? Yeah, I've tried it before. It's pretty solid depending on what magic, magic, 
magic mods you have. The palette. I like the color palette. Yeah, Lorem is definitely more, uh, I mean, depends on the weather right now, it's kind of gloomy weather. But like when it's bright, as you can tell, a little bit more vibrant. Uh, but the palette, I try to stay close to OG Skyrim's color palette. Kind of a clear, cold look, a little bit of vibrancy, but mostly like toned down. The only difference is the the green tundra, which maybe I'll change to the yellow tundra again, but I kind of like this green tundra. It, it looks because it, it has the mixed in like brownish reddish grass, so it looks like an actual tundra. I feel like the, I feel like I get bored of looking at the yellow tundra. You know, the other issue with the yellow tundra that I discovered is the tundra grass and landscape actually extends way further than most people think. So like this is still like a lot of tundra stuff, but you would see yellow here as well, even though there's like rivers and stuff and lush trees and then it would look like out of place, you know? I think the green tundra is just like, as long as it's not too much, it just, it's kind of well balanced. Like, cause you, you saw earlier where when I was in Valheim, that's also technically tundra. So if with the yellow tundra, that would also be yellow. Yeah, this is Lorem. I'm just doing a PC stability test. This Tundra is also your favorite? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a Squeegee's grass patch, so it's not quite QW's grass. It looks green until you get close, yeah. More, more tame. All right, time to really go crazy. I'm not freezing, nor am I having frame drops or anything like that. Squeegees is based off of QWs, but it adds more stuff to, uh, like, especially the volcanic area and whatnot. I mean, hey, I am. I'm not freezing. Running better, better smooth. Go really crazy. I, I wonder what this is gonna happen. How the fuck am I not freezing though? Anyone? Anyone who uh, ever posts, posts a crash report for Larum, it's your fault. You did something. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I'm able to do this, if I'm able to do, like, honest, real talk, if I'm able to do this, then the list is stable. If I'm able to literally do this as if it was vanilla Skyrim, I think that's a, I think that kind of says that the list is pretty damn stable. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I'm finally getting some. Oh, that's the that's the weapon black airs. Those 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 can happen if you're just moving too fast. And the it's from that weapons black mod. With too many load in, you can get that error. But even that doesn't cause a crash. It's a good, it's a good test. It's a good stability test, at least for the outdoors area. And if you can verify that the outdoors is stable, then um, the only thing you got to worry about is crashes and uh, like uh, when you're changing cells. And that then you know that it's like a cell issue. Well, I told pretty stable indeed. I mean, look, we're 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 over here now. 
<laughs> over here now. Okay, so it is that it isn't my PC that causing crashes or freezes. I accidentally loaded in 40,000 flails once and my game didn't crash. Hell yeah. Casting a cloak spell as I do it. Oh god. And sp and adding a script that spawns in dragons every 20 seconds. Just break it till you make it. <clears throat> well, Disclo freaking summoned like a, a thousand giants in Sovereign Garden didn't crash. So I think the I think the only um the only uh crashes that I've been able to like reproduce in Lorem that I haven't like fixed already is stuff to do with like really heavy script load and then you switch cells like usually if you just play the game more patiently and don't like go in and out of locations super fast while stuff is going on it shouldn't cause crashes but you know with a, with a script heavy list that has like a bunch of stuff being added going on at once a little base object swapper stuff and this and that the wheeler issue no. That's just that issue with the mod itself. I can't do anything about it. The only, like, the, I mean, it, it, that's not even, I don't consider that a modless bug. That's, if it's specifically the mod itself can cause crashes under certain circumstances, then I can't do much about it. See, but yeah, you can do that. Biggie, when I ride a horse on a Sunday upside down playing lower, I might get a crash. <laughs> Do you think having a bunch of followers like Inigo, Lucian, etc., were talkative would cause problems with fast travel? Mm. Shouldn't, but I don't know. How are you doing today, Ringmaster? My favorite list is uh, Lorem, Second Chapter, Next Gen Visual Overhaul, Lore Oblivion, Lore Out 4. Hypothetical. It's not. Um, it's not Eid for me yet, but uh, uh, Eid Mubarak for you. And any any other Muslim viewers? Although in my country we don't say Eid Mubarak, we say uh, Bayram Mubarak. But same thing. question of what my favorite list my my whole thing but behind like my favorite list the whole favorite list question is um like it just doesn't matter what my favorite is like i i play a bunch of lists and stuff but just because i have a favorite list doesn't mean it'll be your favorite that's the only reason it doesn't matter i appreciate that you guys want my opinion and my take and stuff on it really like it, it, it just it 
doesn't matter what my favorite is. How's it going, Gears? My favorite is my list, yeah. I mean, like, everybody... Unless, like, you really hate your own list, I guess. You know, you're probably gonna make a list that you want to play, that you like, that has the mods that you like. Right? So, for most authors, probably their own list is their favorite. Like, most authors... There's probably... There's probably a good few authors that think that their list is the best list, like, just the best. What's the criteria you have for your best list? That it's my list. <laughs> if it's not my list, then it can't be the best. I don't think there is an objective best. I think there are objectively well done lists, though, and objectively badly done lists. I think the biggest red flags for a bad list is that if it has no custom patches, like zero, zero work in X edit or creation kit. I think that if 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 it doesn't have any, then on an objective level, it is a bad list because it will have game breaking bugs. Unless it's like a one of the like. You know, visual you only lists. Gold. Good. God damn you! Uh, 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 she came at me with a fishing rod. I do like the hinterland stuff, so I'm gonna grab that. Grab this stuff. White Run Metropolis. Isn't that that old mod that has just a bunch of crap added and really bad nav mesh? I think you have something else. This mod? This looks like the type of mod that you can't use an E and B or any graphics mods with. Hence why all the screenshots are like vanilla textures. Yeah, that's, that's too much. You're not going to be able to realistically have that in frames. UI? Yeah, it's Nordic. Thoughts on Novus? Novus is solid. If I wanted to learn how to make mod lists, is the best thing to learn X edit first? I think, I think look at X, I think first you want to grab a well done list and see how it was done. And then, yeah, you definitely want to learn X edit, but you want to also learn how the mod lists are structured. Um, you gotta, I mean, you, you, you basically have to know that Skyrim mods are essentially made out of two broad categories of things, loose files and plugins. And that's the difference in uh, mod or here, I'll show you. So that's the difference in Mod Organizer 2 between a uh, left pane and right pane. The left pane is like the mods themselves and then they get um, activated and whatnot. The right pane is the loose files. Now it makes it a, a little bit easier in some ways, I guess, to know what is being overwritten in a plugin because like with Woundenik here, it has the uh, plugin that tells you what stuff is overwriting what. So when you click a plugin, although I don't, part of me, part of me is glad I didn't update because this plugin can look overwhelming, but you can see, you can click on something and see if it has records being overwritten. And then when you click on it, it'll highlight what is being overwritten. So when you see, uh, 
let's let's find like a combat mod so you have the like for example the staff animation mod this these two mods have zero things in the plugin at themselves being overwritten that means that this load order it could be anywhere it, you could load this all the way at the top. You could load it all the way at the bottom. It genuinely wouldn't matter where this plugin loads. Whereas with attack MCO, you see it's it's overriding something from Elden Power Attack, and is being overwritten by attack no directional power attacks.esp. But you can tell that that's something that you would want because like the no directional power attacks, that's it relies on attack MCO. And what it, what it does is it changes this function of MCO. So you want you would want to load after MCO itself, you know. Um, and if you know if base game stuff is usually going to get overwritten, so that's why I, I wouldn't even bother looking at that. But yeah, I mean this is a pretty cool uh, thing. Like you can see here, uh, this is just over being overwritten by the add-on for it that increases your spin speed. What's this plugin called? Um, let me see if I can find it. I think it's this. Um, Bethesda Plugin Manager for Mod Organizer by Parapets. Super handy. Just don't get overwhelmed by it because there's a good chance, like if it, if there's a really common record being overwritten, then it's probably gonna light up a bunch of stuff. Did you ever reinstall the SMP mod? Oh yeah, let me do that. I don't know. Uh, Nakuda AVX. I might do AVX too, just because I know that my CPU supports it, but. Extreme performance, install, replace. Yeah, th this plugin is kind of helpful. you can even have things in separators so that's pretty cool kind of keep your plugins themselves more organized i the only reason i don't want <laughs> I, I i don't have this in lorem is because uh it's gonna break all my existing mo2 plugins to update if it didn't then i'd get it You've enjoyed my list and Bake the most day. I appreciate it, Tenshi. You've been using MO2 in two days is so much better than Vortex. It really is. Once you get the hang of it, it's like, why was I using Vortex for this long? I used Vortex for like a good year. And I'm like, nope. Redux, visually, it's a lot different. I mean, the water looks different. I think that the lighting is different. I mean, yeah. If your system can handle it, I recommend playing Ultra. Redux is the same gameplay, but the visuals are, are, are way different. I am eating some beef jerky. And 
it's homemade. Beef jerky is like if you can if you can get yourself a dehydrator or something, you can even you can even make it in the uh, in the oven at a really low temperature, but beef jerky is so freaking expensive. It's so so worthwhile to just make it at home. Sixteen gigs of RAM. Yeah, that'll do it. Awesome too. Biltong is very similar to Bosnian uh, dried meat. It's just more spices added. Kind of funny that I'm just targeting the foxes. I wish I could sprint with the shield raised. I mean, I guess you can with the perk still. I wish I could do it now. I want to do it now. This is only change the visuals and come back. Now it has a lot of stuff added. I mean, as you can see, I have a new weapons and armors on. Croatian, Australian? Hell yeah. I was born in Croatia, so... visit again. I like Croatia a lot. I like Bodice. Bodice is nice. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Looks like we put ourselves another fool. My spinning move. This is better than not better. Have I invested into light armor yet? Or no? I mean I guess I've invested those pumps, but I don't think I actually leveled light armor itself, did I? I don't think I put I'm gonna go heavy armor just because I want the, I want the kvetchy. I want the kvetchy. Oh the scimitar is better though. It's okay. Nah, we're we're, we're gonna do curved sword. Interline stuff back. Oh, maybe the cape will be. Yeah, the cape looks like it's kind of fixed now. Yeah, spin to win. What's up, Pixel? You've never been? Kvetchy? Kvatchy. From Kvatch.
Mounted oblivion on the left. <laughs> you know, Australians always shortening words. Installed and modded on the lappy. I just imagine you saying it like that. But I haven't played it yet. You should. It's good. I heard Luke and Young the other day about a thief breaking into a store. It wasn't me, honest. It's been rough out here because you can see nipples for miles. Nobody needs diamond cutters. For formed Australian degeneracy. Let's go to Maccas. Hey, I didn't freeze here. Ooh. Yo, maybe it was the SMP setting that was causing all the frost freezes and stuff. Hey, hey, debugging. The average FPS. Uh, depends on the area. Right now, I'm getting pretty smooth. If, I mean, I'm at 40, but <laughs> negative five. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is from the arch. What the? This is from Skyrim. I mean, I guess the textures, but. Am I blind that I've just never seen this damn trunk? What the? This is in the base game? There's no way. You know what? I need to just shut the fuck up. <sighs> My name is Biggie. I don't freeze anymore. I just need to. I just need to stop talking ever. Like, there's no, there's no way Todd Coward isn't somewhere just remote controlling my PC. Like, he talked bad about Bethesda when Starfield launched. Now I gotta troll him during all his streams. Over 16 times the freezes. <laughs> Over <laughs> 16 times the freezes, guys. <laughs> All part of his bastard chess plan. It really is. <laughs> it just breaks our dud. <laughs> God coward. Todd seems to have changed a lot though, not in a good way over over time. But if you go watch his like like old interviews from like I don't know, like Oblivion days, you're just wondering if it's even the same person anymore. There's like this is the guy that made Starfield. Microsoft. I don't think it's even Microsoft. From what I know, Microsoft is fairly hand, hands off. And especially during Starfield's development. I, I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's the fact that he wants to change, like Todd himself wants to change his own games. Because his, his main, like one of his big passion projects he did was Elder Scrolls Redguard, which sucked ass. Because Todd himself is more of an action game fan that happens to make RPGs. 
And he wants to keep making them more and more um, action based, and then they keep getting worse and worse. They keep losing the RPG elements over time. And to be fair, I'd be perfectly fine with like a um, like an Elder Scrolls action spinoff every few years. I don't think I don't think anyone would mind it. Like if there was an Assassin's Creed type game where you're in Hammerfell or something, I don't think anyone would be like, "Oh, we don't want this." As long as we eventually get Elder Scrolls Six, you know. They could have perfectly done that, and people would be happy with it. Maybe, Arab. I mean, we'll never really know. But the one thing is, um... Berry. What's that? 100 berries? Um, the one thing though is, um, he has said that Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna be his last Elder Scrolls. He confirmed that. So if there is ever an Elder Scrolls 7, it's not gonna be Todd. So I think he's just kind of like, he's just kind of ready to exit. I think I think the ne his next game is going to be Elder Scrolls 6 and then he's going to retire. That's my prediction. Model's version available? Uh, no, this version is uh, not publicly available yet. Yeah, I was true, rest of us. I mean, there's definitely a lot of money to be made in video games these days. You're gonna be a grandpa. I mean, at this rate, I don't even know if I'm gonna play Elder Scrolls 6, you know? I ain't getting any younger either. I got things to do. Makes sense because the game he always wanted to make is on deck Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones game actually looks pretty sick. Elder Scrolls Flappy Bird. Shapiro Dagoth or <laughs> the read the room or something that I keep taking off my helmet. It's helmet toggle. Oh, it is helmet toggle. The first helmet toggle. It has both read the room and helmet toggle. I'm gonna click that. Yo, Avatar, how are you? Tundra is like uh, our grass wise right right here. If 
Death is what, what the? I was just trying to check your thickness. You're on God mode. I don't even care. Fuck this guy. Victory's yours. I submit. Oh wait, my weapon is stuck. Bandit chief, more like bandit cheese. Cause he eats a lot of cheese. Fight! You won't get away with that. I like how someone in the different distance. Now. This is why I don't have O buddy. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but. He is thick. I told Alex I was gonna make a Windy Nick 3 trailer. Wow, but not making Lorem trailers. Oh my god. I wanna see how it is. That is a thick boy. I like the grass. Pretty cool grass compilation. But that bandit's mama feeds him well. I know I heard something. I don't know why, like, my, uh, I keep going back and stuff when I... Come on, she's not so tough. Okay, this guy is dead. You want me to make one? Uh, if you... If you want, go for it. That... I mean, you, I'm not usually the one to ask people for stuff like that. You know, if people want to make it, they can feel free. Over here. This is the end. Can't wait to count out your toy. I do think, though. I do think that if if somebody wants to pop off. They easily I could uh, make me a Lorem gameplay video. I swear I'll kill you. I don't. I don't have the technical skill to do something crazy for it, but I think there's a lot of content there to be had. Yo, what's up, dude? I think the issue with the... Where'd that other person go? The issue with Lorem is it has like a lot of it, uh, like mechanics that I think, uh, you know, to be aware of, you need to like be in Discord or... I need to update the readme. There's a lot of stuff I think people don't know about Lorem. Like the, uh, like all the next gen combat stuff that's perk locked and whatnot. Like the bow dodge shots and stuff like that. Or like the uh, the crazy spell mods. That sort of thing. I do think there's grass here. Would look better with the green landscape than the yellow one. I'm gonna get another victory chief with the heck. You wanna make a Lorem website? Go for it. Hey, 
If you want to make a website, that would help a lot. Worm really. Lorem really does need like a wiki or something. How's the FPS? This is an awkward time to ask. Couldn't ask for better weather. I feel like I started time traveling backwards. Oh man, what is? Hey, I gotta put the FPS counter back on. What was that? Oh my god, I, I saw four FPS at one point. Wiggins, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world's gone mad, I say. Are you feeling sick? <laughs> Willie. I don't know why I don't expect there to be a guy in Skyrim just called Willie. What do you need? Oh, but his name is actually Hlora. Wait, is his race called Willie? Oh, he's a Nord. Take a look. Are you Willy or Flora? Farewell. Flora is Will. <laughs> what is this fucking game? What? A... Now it has both names. <laughs> what? <laughs> Name Willy. No, you're not. Your name is dead. Ah. <laughs> His face! His face! No, not Willy! <laughs> Willy died as he lived, with his mouth open. Yes? All these people have. Good day. All these people have two names. Sabala Aisha. Damn shame. Oh, stay safe, happened? I hope. <laughs> what the heck? The name generator. Keep your hands so to yourself. his his class. I, I mean, I don't know. It says Flora, but it said Willie. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Good afternoon. Come, come. I haven't got all day. What? Alfund Alfriend is also Tread Mil Million. <laughs> He, why does he look like Revolver Ocelot? <laughs> you know, it would be so funny is if his name was Revolver Ocelot and then in, in uh, brackets it's, it said Revolver Ocelot. Like, you know that meme with the Revolver Ocelot? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. You know, like, uh, come on. You know, like this, this picture, this meme that's like Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot. This, this straight up does look like Revolver Ocelot. That's funny. What happened? Ocelot was a cool character. Need something? All right then. Halt. 
You looking for a beating? Or else what? You think Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. The visuals look pretty cool. Definitely has a uh, more vibrant tone to everything. I wondering what this is for White Run. Texture was used. Whatever it takes, but we mm, must have dirt. more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just has can't dirt. fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Man, I was saying this earlier. Why does this actually Having look more like Ultima I'll than Ultima? I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. It kind of looks like the original trailer is Ultima. When it was like a, when it was a Nova fork. I mean, this does look pretty nice. This does look pretty nice. <laughs> Turn that beautiful wiring into a blood painted scene. Oh God. Talos again with Aureal. With man? We'll Why? They can barely tolerate our Why they gotta be Talos like Earth. that? Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your home? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? Lies. And what does the Empire I know your family's honor is important to you. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to Follow find out he's dead. Give me your money. I can't stop now. I, and I can't get the sword on my own. I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your nose. Some rusty old sword. No, please. I really don't have any money, Brave. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. I'll put it plain. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't let you Yeah. I don't know why people like replacing Talos. Trust in me, White Run. Trust in I like the I like the regular Talos. My head. Needs to stay in place. That's all I ask. Okay, you know what? Oh god. I'm all bloody though. Maybe it's just too much SMB on it. I'm gonna put the helmet on again. Well, there's no telling what it means. Turn it off and turn it on again. My lord. What would you have me do? You have to listen. Nothing. Womp, womp, womp. I think that's as many freezes as I can handle, guys. Although it is a really good looking list. 
but holy shit, freezes. It's not even letting me go to... Oh god, yeah, this is the game telling me. It's not even letting me go to Task Manager. Oh god. Oh, can I get my mouse back? First Task Manager. When, when Skyrim does this, when Skyrim freezes that much, and I go to Task Manager and it's a struggle, and then I highlight over Skyrim to turn it off, it feels like I'm literally putting down Old Yeller. It's like I'm taking a shotgun to Skyrim and just forcing it to shut down. Man, like I've been, I've been wanting to, I've been considering going back to a QW's Grass Patch one. Is this, is this also? Yeah, this the, this one doesn't use Origin of the Forest. I I kind of feel like QW's first Grass Patch is like kind of underrated. Everybody uses QW's two. QW's one is really nice. Like, look at the river grass too. That's that's pretty cool. Reach grass is nice. I don't know how I feel about the volcanic grass though. Hey, Ren. I use it, but it's nice. It is nice. I might grab just some aspects of it. I like the river grass. Uh, the marsh is also pretty good. And then a few other things. Actually, no, I don't feel like changing grass for Lorem. It's freaking. I'd have to rerun grass cache. And I don't want to do that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off there. Um, tomorrow is the first day of Eid, so I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. So we'll see if I do on uh, Thursday. But if not, you guys uh, stay safe and take care of it. Oh, hey, how's it going, Kadu? What do you think the lowest CPU that handles 1080p on Lorem? Uh, probably like an, probably like some i5 or equivalent. Solid i5. Hell yeah, Ayer. Breathe and run fast, guys. Hey, appreciate, appreciate it, guys. All right. Have a good night, y'all.